The first step in completing the Federal Write-In Absentee Ballot, or FWAB, is to fill out the Voter's Declaration Affirmation page. Begin completing the Voter's Declaration Affirmation page by indicating in Block 1 whether or not you have registered and requested an absentee ballot. If your answer is no, you can submit the Federal Write-In Absentee Ballot at the same time you submit a FPCA, but do not submit the FWAB if you have not submitted the FPCA. Only the FPCA requests ballots for current and future elections. In Block 2, check the box next to your classification. In Block 3, fill out your full legal name. In Block 4, fill out your identification information, including your birth date and full social security number. In Block 5, fill out your contact information, including a telephone number, fax number, and email address. In Block 6, indicate your political party preference, keeping in mind that you can enter no party as your preference but will not receive primary ballots. In Block 7, fill out your Virginia voting residence address. If you are a resident of another state, you need to apply with that state. In Block 8, fill out your current military or overseas address. In Block 9, fill out additional information that is required by Virginia, such as your residence address, where you last registered or were eligible to register to vote. Write, I have never voted if applicable. The date of your last day of residency at your residence address if you have given up that address permanently or have no intent to return. Your service identification number if you are a uniformed service member or a family member. The branch of service and grade or rank if you are a uniformed service member, merchant marine, or family. And name and address of your employer. This is required for non-military voters living overseas with no Virginia place of abode to receive full ballots. Next, fill out the affirmation at the bottom of the voter's declaration affirmation page of the federal write-in absentee ballot. Sign your name and record the date, and then have a witness sign and date as well. After completing the voter's declaration affirmation page, you can then mark your absentee ballot. The FWAB may be pre-populated with ballot information. First, fill in your selection for president and vice president. In the next box, fill in your selection for U.S. Senator. Fill in your selection for U.S. Representative. The addendum section of the FWAB is where military and overseas voters make their selections for non-federal elections. Contact the Virginia State Board of Elections or your local general registrar's office in Virginia if you have questions about the elections in which you can vote.